Hello and welcome to Train Symphiatic. In today's episode, I'm sorting out my uh, point switches on these points. I need uh, polarity switches on the points because these are electrofrog points. So it means that that section there and that section there have no current coming to it when it's standardly powered. So I need to change what color, what polarity for uh, powers to these two lines by using a switch. At the moment I'm currently using these top mounted switches but I've been finding I've been having reliability problems so I'm swapping to uh, micro switches which are these little uh, things just here. So what I need to do is remove the point feed wire, feed it to the other side and then connect for uh, appropriate power rail I'll be working one point at a time so that I know what I'm doing. So uh, th this is what I need to do. For this job I'll be using a soldering iron. Make sure to use it safely and follow all instructions which are provided. With this job I have also disconnected the power to the track so I don't cause any damage as a soldering iron does provide a current to the track which could cause problems if you don't use it properly. My first job is to remove the cables connected to um, the uh, switch. And it's pretty easy. As it is I'm going to be replacing for wires to them as well. It will just make my life easier. Okay, I have installed the wires to this uh, switch. You have this one which is for feed to the uh, point switch. Then you have this one which is to the left rail and this is to the right rail. What I have done is tinned the wires and then just uh, fed them through the little hole that there is on each of these connectors and then just heated it up with a little bit of solder and it holds it in place. OK, you can now see the switches in position and the old ones removed. At the moment it's set to go straight through so if I place that on there I can see it's correct and if I go across the joint I can see no short circuit so that's fine. I do need to slightly adjust some of them as I go through for positioning these switches. But I've got these to do, these two done and those two to do. And this is one of the best little tools I have as it lights up when they're powered to the track. So to check that I'm doing everything correctly, it's a brilliant little tool. This is one of the old switches I used to have and I'll show you inside it. Let me just quickly grab a screwdriver. You have this little printer circuit board on the top which if you just ease out uh, there we go you can see how it works. You have this little throw bar and then you have two little contacts on that side and one large that side and you have this little metal wipe so as you change the switch it changes its contact point and you can also see that that's a, have a good degree of failure potential as it can wear out there you can get oxidization on either the contacts here or the contact point so I'm glad I have replaced these as I have had two which I have had to repair. So taking them out should give me a more reliable system. Okay, I've just got the last two points to do which I'll do in the next few days. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to like, subscribe and share. And leave any comments you want. See you next time, Richard.